ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, world famous YouTuber and daredevil Danny McCaskill. Now, let's get into it. An Alzheimer's drug could mean the beginning of the end for the disease. Well, it's the first medication which works in Alzheimer's disease, so that's of course a fantastic event to be celebrated. This is the result of 20, 25 years of hard work with a lot of people doubting that we were on the right track. That's Dr. Bart Destroper, director of the UK Dementia Research Institute. Lacaine Mab is the first drug to slow down the destruction of the brain, ending years of failure when it comes to treatment research. I'm sure that there will become very quickly now better and newer drugs and cheaper drugs because now the door is open for research, basically. Results from the clinical trial also revealed it cleared clumps of a protein from patients' brains, which is thought to be a key cause of the most common form of dementia. I hope that this treatment will come on the market very soon next year, certainly in America, I hope. I don't know how the other countries will approve it, but I'm predicted that, that there's a good chance that this gets approval. The results were presented at the Clinical Trials of Alzheimer's Disease Conference in San Francisco and are published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Now, it's easy to kind of maybe get drawn into making sort of lots of content to kind of feed the algorithms and it maybe lowers your kind of personal quality levels. You know, people are just hungry for content. Professional mountain biker and YouTuber Danny McCaskill has told Tech and Science Daily he hopes by going against the grain and creating more long form old school content, his videos will actually have more longevity. I kind of look at making these videos as kind of almost what would be a section in a DVD, you know, when I was growing up or a, a videotape. And I hopefully it kind of has a little bit more life to it or longer lasting kind of impact, a little bit more inspirational than watching like a, a random Instagram clip. You may know him as the biker who rode along the rotor blade of a wind turbine and took on a tense VR mountain bike simulation. Danny's just finished his latest huge project filming stunts around San Francisco, something he started in 2017, but had to put on the back burner after breaking his kneecap on day two of filming. He managed to head back to the States to finish the video this year and told us just how much work went into it. Put a lot of time and effort in in the background and then when you watch it, it kind of hopefully looks fairly effortless. Some of the tricks that you'll see in this video, you know, like riding along the top of a tennis net. I mean, that took me about 400 takes over two days to land. Next. Sorry, Mariah, but there's a new songstress in town. A study suggests that bats have a greater vocal range than singers like Mariah Carey and Prince. Okay, it's not quite as catchy as All I Want for Christmas, but as you heard there, bats can produce a range of frequencies that far exceeds vertebrates, including humans, meaning a greater vocal range than even a certain festive diva. Researchers from the University of Southern Denmark for the first time filmed what goes on in a bat's voice box when it produces sound. They also found that for some sounds, they used the same technique as death metal singers. Tesla is working on redesigning the Model 3 to cut costs as stock slumps 20%. The company wants to reduce the number of parts needed to produce the vehicle, and the changes could include its exterior. Tesla stocks have been down since Musk's Twitter takeover. Some analysts say that his actions at the social media platform are creating a negative sentiment. Scientists have discovered two new minerals on a huge meteorite found in Somalia. Researchers at the University of Alberta say the minerals have never been seen before on Earth. They looked at a 70 gram fragment from the 15 ton meteorite, which is said to be the ninth biggest to reach our planet and is about 90% iron and nickel. The Canadian team said the rock was found two years ago, but locals say it's much older and has been documented in poems, songs and dances for five generations. A third as yet unidentified element is also being analysed by the university. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, Christmas turkey update and a creepy Zuckerberg deepfake goes viral. Whilst you're here, why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. China has sent a new crew to its Tiangong space station to make its first in-orbit crew handover. They'll live on the station for six months, taking over three colleagues who arrived in June. It will be the second permanently inhabited space outpost after the International Space Station, from which China was excluded in 2011. It's the last of 11 missions to assemble the station, which is planned to operate for around a decade and run experiments in near-zero gravity. 
A deepfake video of Mark Zuckerberg thanking US Democrats for their inaction on antitrust laws has gone viral. One moment. And if I make myself a little more comfortable? Ah, uh, that's better. Like I was saying. Many are impressed, and I think it's fair to say creeped out, by the deepfake's likeness to the real Meta CEO. Advocacy group Demand Progress Action, who are responsible for the video, plan to run it as a TV ad in New York and Washington. The group criticizes the lack of action of two bills, the American Innovation and Choice Online Act and the Open App Markets Act. And finally, some reassuring news for anyone who has been worrying about their Christmas dinner this year. Your turkey is not in danger. The British retail consortium has reassured consumers that despite the avian flu outbreak, there should still be enough to meet demand for the festive period. The government says 1.4 million turkeys have been called so far this year following the outbreak of the disease, which scientists say it's the largest the UK has ever seen. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.